Thank you for choosing to watch the Caselli Tech Talk on YouTube. In this Tech Talk, I'm going to cover Outlook tasks. In other words, how to stay on track with Outlook tasks. I usually use Outlook to manage my email messages and calendar. And also, I use Outlook to manage my tasks. Working with tasks is even easier in Outlook 2007 and 2010 with a new Outlook toolbar. On the right hand side, the to-do bar lets me see at a glance the upcoming meetings as well as the upcoming tasks that I have created. So the easiest way to create a task is from an email message. Suppose you get an email message where a follow-up is required. So the easiest is to click on the flag on the right-hand side of the message and that will create a task on the right-hand side. Another way to create the task, you can also right-click on the email and choose follow up and then choose the specific time section. An easier way to create a task is by simply typing the new task on the right-hand side under the to-do bar and then hit enter. Once a task has been created, the task you can double click on it and open up its properties. From here you can set different priorities. You can uh, specify, uh, set a reminder for it so that ahead of time you can follow up. From here you can assign a task to somebody else. From time to time you may have somebody else you, you're working with and uh, you can assign this task by clicking on the assign button. Then you pick who you want to assign this task to and note you can choose to be updated when this task is complete and when the task has been updated. And then click on send. So click OK. And at this point, if I go to my own calendar, because here I'm using the TS training calendar, I'll notice there's a new task of high importance. I open it up. Notice I have an accept or decline. So from this point, if I accept this task, it will add it. It will send the response back to the requester as well as add it to my to-do list on the right hand side. So here it is, Tech Talk, Core Tech Talk. I can go and post that it's 50% complete and then choose Save and Close. I will switch back to, to my original, to the requester calendar, and notice once the task was submitted and the person where it was submitted, they updated it to specify that it was 50% complete. Notice I received an email so basically, the requester of that specific task receives emails as the task is completed or in progress. So once the task is completed, I switch back to my email and I mark this task as complete. And then I return to the requester's email. The requester will receive an email that the task is complete. So this is it. Uh, basically, this is a great way of um, using Outlook features in order to increase the efficiency as well as keep track of various items. Thank you for watching and be sure to visit us again on the YouTube channel.